This is Coon Cassis Rifle Team in association with Macklin's in Marbella in Sheffield here for the press conference of Brook versus Bizier, 26th of March. With me, fighting on the undercard, Adam the Bomber Etches. How are you? I'm all right, thanks, cool. Yeah. How, how are you? I'm very right. well, thank you very much. Uh, what happens to your face? Oh, don't ask. Come off bike or riding bike to the gym, and I've ended up going on handlebars and coming off. <laughs> well, listen, at least like I said, that'll that'll heal in uh, in in quick time. So uh, it, it could have been worse for you. So yeah, I've got some more injuries. Oh, I didn't see that. Some there, more yeah. injuries here, which, but like you say. You can knock a good man down, but you can't keep one down. I got back up and, kick and carry on. That's, Ab what, that's what we do. Absolutely. Um, obviously, I was there. Disappointing night for you. Um, seems like quite a while ago now against uh, Kaminsky. You've come back with a win uh, back in the summer, but now this year you really sort of want to push on, forget that Kaminsky defeat, and uh, get yourself back into the mix of the middleweight division. Yeah, hundred percent. You know, last year. We're, last year was a bad year for me, uh, not just fight-wise, but you know, deaths and illnesses and injuries and operations. I've all sorts I had last year, so I just want to put that put that behind me, put it to bed, and learn f learn from my defeat, learn from you know where things went wrong, what I could do to be a better fighter, improve myself, change my mindset. You know, I was going in, into fights think, thinking that I was just going to knock everybody out that way. What I thought, I genuinely thought, whoever I thought, I was taking them out. Whereas now, I, I believe I've got the power to do it, but you know, I'm I'm thinking about what's going to be coming back as well, rather than just going all guns blazing and looking for knockouts. So I'm 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 learning. I'm it's a learning it's a learning game, and you know, you just got to keep making improvements, making adjustments, and you know, ultimately. It's that way when you finish your boxing career, I think, you know, as to how, how well you've done. So it's just, a, it's just a blip, that's all it is. It seems like a new era in the middle, middleweight division uh, domestically. Obviously, for years it was talked about the likes of Darren Barker and, and Macklin and, and Murray. Now, obviously, with uh, Murray moving up and um, uh, Macklin also at different weight, and uh, Darren Barker retiring, it's kind of like a new generation with the likes of yourself, Billy Joe Saunders, uh, new world champion Chris Eubanks, Spike Osama and all these guys, sort of John Ryder still there, so um, it is a new era for the middleweight division here domestically. Yeah, I honestly think um, domestically, I think middleweight division it, domestically is the best division to be in by far. Um, worldwide, probably not, I think, you know, there's we, we've, I think we've got the best fighter, but he's on his own, in my in my eyes, in my view. As in Golovkin. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but b below him, like you say, you've got your Billy Joe Saunders, who's world champion. You've got John Ryder, Nick Blackwell, myself. Nick Blackwell, sorry, Uvang British Jr. champion. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, when you know, and styles make fights, but you look what um, how close John Ryder pushed um, Saunders, and then you look at what Blackwell did to Ryder, he looked what Spike also, Eubank did to Spike O'Sullivan. You know, there's some real mouth-watering, mouth entertaining fights, and I think they're all, to be honest with you, I think they're all 50-50 fights, which it, it makes it healthy, it makes boxing exciting, and, you know, it gets people interested. You've got to add Andy Lee's name to that, obviously. Oh, sorry, Andy Lee. <laughs> Andy Lee's name and I'm sorry that, absolutely. If I, I'm sorry if I've missed anyone else's no, name me off too. list. Because trying to think of middleweights and that, obviously Andy Lee. That, the, the, it's one of them where yeah. there's that many, you know. A few times when when it gets mentioned, my name gets missed off, which sometimes you think, oh, I wonder why. But like you say, you can. there's that many. There's, there's, probably, there's probably eight between... Probably eight or ten middleweights in Britain, where well, all good fights. Which domestically, I don't think, I don't think there's that at any other weight. Where domestically, I think middleweights definitely the division to be in. Absolutely. Who do you think would win in a, a rematch between Saunders and Newbank? Uh, Saunders. Okay. Saunders, I think. I think it'd be close again. I don't think it'd be easy, but I, th I do think Saunders is a, 
a tad, a tad better. But that's just, that's my opinion, you know. It's, Everyone's entitled to it. I'll always say, I'll always say what, what I think, whether I'm right, I'm right. If I'm wrong, I'll hold my hands up and say, you know, I'm wrong. But I think, I think Saunders would probably just nick it again. All right, well, listen, Adam, thank you very much for talking to Russell TV. Uh, good to uh, have you back on here. And obviously, I know you've had a, obviously a win since your defeat, but like I said, this year, we will be uh, wanting to push on and really sort of make a statement yeah, back in the middleweight division. Definitely, just, I've got to, got to get back going. Um, like I said, get, get in on 26th of March, good performance, good win. And then I'm, I'm, I'm right back there. You know, I've had a fight since the Kamitsky fight, but in all honesty, it was just a bloody just a case of getting in and winning a fight, which it was nothing. Nothing. It was a small dinner show, so I'm not going to um, get carried away with myself. And but the, I think this this one this will show that I'm back and I'm ready and I'm ready to start challenging for some titles. Just finally, obviously, Eddie um, said it would be for some sort of title. Um, Opponent-wise, you're close to sort of. I've no idea, to is. be honest. No. I'll, leave, I'll leave all that to Richard and whoever else is involved. But, you know, Richard and Dominic, my trainer, they, they know that I, I'm a fighting kid and I'll, I will fight anyone. So it's, they're the ones that need, to, that need to slow me down. So I'll, I'll do whatever, do, just do whatever I'm told, to be honest. All right, well, listen, Adam, thanks for talking to us and uh, I'm sure we'll catch up with you soon. Cheers. All right. Cheers, mate.